That's right, it's our first ever double feature. I don't get it. What's happening? Well, uh, it turns out that while professional New York bartender Taylor Smurl did design a Candle Nights cocktail back in 2020, so too did their non-professional bartender co-host father, Tommy. Oh, okay. Wait, what's happening? We're trying out a cocktail with the same rules as the one we just tried, but designed by an amateur. Ah, okay. I understand that now. That first one took long. We're just blazing through the script. So here we have the Mabim Bam Zombie Fart. It's uh feels like an appropriate name. Well, it's called a zombie fart because of all the different zombie, like all the different different liquors that are in it. Mm -hmm. Like a zombie. Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. He he does. Uh and fart because of the bean juice. Because again, Tommy Smurl is a dad. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> A couple of clarifications. We're definitely not drinking the exact same thing that he made that fateful day in 2020. <laughs> Why not? The one you hear about in the folk songs. For one, he used Elf, as in Buddy the Elf, themed cereal that was released last year around this time and the year before. And then it was not released this year because, of course, it was the year that I decided we were going to do this. So I went online and I found some online and I ordered some online from eBay and the USPS lost them. So now... Since it really doesn't matter the kind of cereal, on top, in light of everything else, it's kind mm -hmm. of inconsequential, I think we can agree. Uh, so I went with Elf on the Shelf cereal, because that is still technically an Elf cereal, even though it probably tastes nothing like the other one. Or it tastes exactly or it the tastes, same. Well, I, I mean, supposedly the other one had maple in it, and it was like, oh. it was like a, it, they were like maple-flavored kicks with marshmallows. These are oh, sugar cookie-flavored charms. Well, they're not anymore. With uh, with that also have marshmallows in them. Now yeah, now they're now they're, now they're juice mud and bean <laughs> mud and beans. White Claw. Tommy didn't say what flavor he was using, so I let Mike choose. Mike, why did you choose raspberry? Because it was there. Uh, which actually kind of works out in a weird way because uh, while Tommy used what he described as for his for both his blue and jelly, he used tequila infused gummies. Now his was kind of a bluish green. And it was shaped like a pineapple. So I was thinking, well, maybe he actually did infuse some pineapple gum, like blue pineapple gummies with tequila. But after some extensive searching and, you know, just or Google searching and just like general shopping around, I couldn't even really find blue pineapple gummies at all. So instead, because when you look at, I'll, I'll put a picture up so at least the audience can see. It does kind of look like a jello, like a big, a big jello jiggler is holding. So, and you would also think it might be pineapple flavored, but I couldn't find anything that got, that ticked off blue and a pineapple and a gummy so yeah i blue is the more important one because that's what that was in the instruction so i just I, I infused some tequila into some blue raspberry blue raspberry jello which goes perfectly with the white claw that you i'm not sure if you can see it but as i continue to look at this drink my soul is leaving my body well that's up to the that's up to your camera operator uh to capture that and i'm sure they're doing a great job I, I, I... hello darkness my old friend how do you think this is gonna be mike not great. I also think <clears throat> it is going to be not great. But I don't think it's going to be as bad as I think it's going to be. But the, no, it, it really, like the flavors themselves, maybe. The bean juice, weird, sure, definitely. It's one of the reasons I wanted to do this in the first place. Maybe it'll be really good. We don't know. You're mean. But the te the textural element, Tommy didn't use a, Tommy didn't use a straw. I'm not even sure Tommy actually drank any of it. Uh... <laughs> In, well, in the video, gonna, but I'm not gonna like it. Uh, so, but I have these extra large straws for drinking chunky drinks. I had them, I had them commemoratively it's named. The they have commemorative nameplates on them. With. I'm gonna with, just... it has it has Mike's epitaph engraved on the inside. <laughs> are we doing this, or you got more? It should okay. It should it should be noted 
uh, that the last step of the recipe, again, you can find on M -M -M Wiki, is drink it, you coward. So, <laughs> so my my offer stands. Yolo mix sweat. Oh God, that is weird. Kapla. Oh Jesus. <clears throat> Did you get any jello in yours? No, I drank from the Exactly. Top. I did the straw and I got a Yeah, look at that. I'm going to do the cuz I got bean juice out of the top. Initial impressions. Um, the bean juice is not a positive addition. I'm actually not really tasting the bean juice yet because probably probably because I did the straw and the straw is down below bean juice density level. Bean juice is here. Interesting. It came up. Cuz the glass is Oh, yeah, okay. See how it's layered? All right, well, I, I, you can you can take your second sip through the straw, and I'll take my second sip from the top. That's not really any better, and as the texture's awful. Mmm! Good beans! <laughs> it tastes just like coffee. <laughs> no, it doesn't, you liar! Why would you do that to the people? Hey, hey! No cussing! Why would you do that, you coward? Sorry about the cussing. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it is a completely different drink from the bottom and the top. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I would agree. This is, well, I would argue down here it's not even really a drink so much as it is jello in a tube. Yeah, but it has the flavors of the bad stuff. I mostly, I mo, it was like, it was, there was some stuff there, but it's not anything compared to the top where you're right. It is all bean juice. Who would have thought that bean juice is the least dense liquid? <clears throat> well, what other liquids are there? Alcohol. Yeah, no, alcohol should be on top. What are these beans drinking? Alcohol. <clears throat> what the hell is that cereal? <laughs> Alright, we're doing another drink from the top. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink most of this. Yeah, I am too. I don't think I'm gonna drink all of it though. Yeah, I can't I can't commit to that, but I will do most of it because I'm not a fing coward, alright? Sorry, I cussed. Me again. neither. Would it be easier if you did like a car bomb? <laughs> well, He's on to something. that vomit would sure feel very similar coming up. Yeah, was, the way I, it, I, I imagine the taste down. wouldn't change at all. <laughs> it's just down, your body's down just like, thing, and then nope. up, and it's like, that's the same nice thing. Nice try. Right back into the glass, sir. <laughs> you want to try again? <laughs> I bet drinking it again after it already come up, it wouldn't taste at all any different. Uh, it's also got a sharp quality to it. Like, like, mm -hmm. like fizzy sharp. It's the wet claw. Duh. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot sense. about the wet claw. Yeah. I was like, what is that weirdness? That's just like this unsettling. I, would it be better if we had added the cereal <laughs> right at the, right at the very end, right before we drank it and it was still a little bit crunchy. I don't think it would really matter. It would, no, it's, it's, <laughs> I sucked, like the first, the first time one went into my mouth, I thought, did a bean get through the can? No, I was careful. You, you, I believe you, and that's why it took me. It just took, a, it took me a second. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> now it's a contest to see who can hate, finish first. I hate that Jello. Oh God! Contrary to what elementary school lunchroom James may have uh, may have attested, I'd Jello like, is not really meant to be consumed with a straw. I'd like to paint a picture for everyone here. What it's like drinking this drink through this straw with the jello sitting at the bottom the way it is. So when you first start trying to pull the jello through, it's like it's clogged, right? You're not getting anything. It just doesn't come up. It's just like you're sucking real hard. There's nothing there. And then all of a sudden you get a whole bunch of like jello, just like in these weird little chunks coming straight up into your gullet, followed with like some rum stuff, I guess. What are you doing? That you're I'm just, mixing you're it. just making a mess. Um, yeah, anyway, mm. it sucks. Yeah, that's right right in the little bean cup. You get some good bean juice in there? No, it's clogged. <laughs> Gotta pull harder, bud. There it is. Did you get was there some bean juice in there? Oh yeah. A lot of bean juice? It was a it was a it was a, a bean bonaroo. Right. A beanaroo. I did it. This is probably, I don't know, gonna sit poorly with me. It's already sitting poorly with me. <clears throat> I don't remember the last thing that we ate that, like, so immediately my stomach was just mad at me. He's <laughs> like, what the f*** are you doing? Sorry, hey, hey, what are you guys doing up there? 
Who approved this? Who signed this off? Who signed off on this? So, Mike, how would you rate Tommy Smurl's Mabim Bam Zombie Fart? Don't drink it. That's not a rating. That's yes, just is. sound advice. Use one of your classic rating scales, like 1 to 13.5, or 25 would, to 736.28. I would rate it a 7 on a scale of 8 to 900. That's very bad. I'm in It's weird how sometimes I try to jump to these things' defenses just because I took the time to figure out how to make them and then make them. I'm going to drink more, though. It's bad. It is bad. It's not. It's no. No part of it is pleasant. Um, I'm going to drink more, though. I'm I'm glad we're doing it, though, because it's been a while since we did something that was just so overtly bizarre and intentional. Why do I do this to myself? I, I do have something positive to say about these drinks. They are more blue than the other ones that we made, which is more on us. Well, yeah, oh, and yes, okay, and they are all, let's be honest, they're festive looking. Yeah. Perhaps they're... too festive. That's, it's like, it's like your decorations are still up in January festive, uh, soggy and soaked in rain, because let's face it, snow is more or less a thing of the past. And yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not good, but you should absolutely make one and try it, because no, you should. it's not fair that we had to. No, we're doing the work so that others don't have to. We're drinking this so that you don't have to. Because technically, I don't think a review of this drink really exists out there yet. Probably not. In fact, I granted, I didn't look very hard to see if anybody had tried it. Um, and to be honest, there's a part that feels a little bit weird about it being like a charity special. But that's why I'm not going to use any actual footage. This is entirely for the purpose of reviewing this fantastic drink and referring people to its source. Because... I can't speak for everybody here, but I, I love the Brothers McElroy. I got a marshmallow. Stuff. That helped somehow. <laughs> Ooh, lordy. I am happy with this level of completion. Yeah, I get that a lot. Mm. I am satisfied with this level of completion, Mike. You may leave. <laughs> <laughs> Lock the door on your way out, please. Leave me. All right, now that that's done, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can see the next time James makes me go through some sort of hell like that second drink. Um, spread the word to your friends so that they can see me suffer as well. That's always fun. It is. And then uh, follow us on social medias. We got like a Twitter, like there's a Facebook thing, there's some other stuff probably. You know, it's like a treasure hunt. Go find it. See if you can find us on your favorite social media. There's some more out there. Yes. Under 655 Studios. I hate you guys. <laughs> what do I do? Across all platforms. Oh, 655. Oh, also should probably point out uh, that now, if you're trying to refer a friend, you can just go to under655studios.com, and it'll it'll just redirect to our channel right away. It's uh, it's so easy, it's almost upsetting that I didn't think of it sooner. And uh, be sure to check out the description of the video for all kinds of like credits and things that are about to roll for special thanks, notes, references for what you have in this video if you want to do this to yourself. The first drink was good, actually. Hmm. Especially in comparison to that second drink. Oh, yeah. That first drink was really good, and I definitely recommend that you drink it and not the second one. Perhaps most importantly of all, um, please do consider going to uh, to buy a ticket to this year's McElroy uh, Candlelight Special. They're usually uh, a, a, a good hour or so of just fine holiday entertainment, uh, or or just donating directly to Harmony House. Um, obviously, we don't we don't know the boys personally. Uh, we respect them a great deal as creators and yeah, we just cool. wanted to celebrate alongside them. So uh, rather than giving to us this holiday season, maybe you go and uh, you go and just give a few bucks to, to, to save some of those homeless people. Is there, there's gotta be a less way to say that. That doesn't matter. They're charities. Go find out their charities and give to them. It's cool. Like I said, all relevant links and stuff will appear in the description below. Um, and also, uh, I forgot to write it down here, but you might also go ahead and check out Neat, the, the booze cast that Taylor and Tommy do together. Um, I recently started listening to it in preparation for this, and I've learned a lot, and I'm only like 30 episodes in. Um, so yeah, check that out if you like history and or booze. Anyway, until next time, I have been a slightly more festive version of James R. I. Katie. And I'm Mikey B. Get to choose your own sign-off, make it creative or else. And we are the poor taste, taste buds, buds of Under 655 Studios. 655. Star King, bless us everyone. <laughs>